Hello, hello, YouTube. My name is Mel from Mel's Paper Makes. I am primarily a cash stuffer and budgeting channel here on YouTube. And today I'm going to go over my June budget. This is really exciting because the last month I was kind of guesstimating my new job income, but this time I have better data, better idea on what my paychecks actually look like. So we can have a better understanding as to how much money is going in. And as you can see, I've already highlighted my categories, which are my bills in my digital binder, daily cash, which is like mini cash envelopes that I carry with me all the time, my long-term savings, my monthly expenses, sinking funds, and a grouping binder, which is basically short-term savings or long-term sinking funds. And my lovely summary table that I absolutely love to look at basically all the time. So, like I said, 24 years old, I am two years into, a little over two years into my engineering career, which is great. At the beginning of March, I was laid off from my corporate engineering job. And at the tail end of April, I started my plant engineering job. Basically, the difference is how much I work with my hands and how much I am working on assembly lines and working with products which is very, very different, but it's something that I wanted to try out. And I'm very, very glad I did. With the change in my jobs, I got a title increase. I went from a level one to a level two. With that increase means that I got a pay increase as well. Just to be fully transparent, I make $83,000 a year. And I wanna be transparent because it gives other people an idea as to what is going on. Because when I was doing my job search, I wasn't sure what, how much money I should be asking for. You can check online and such, but it gives you a very big range. But for me, I make $83,000 two years into my engineering job. I do have internship experience as well, but just to be fully transparent, $83,000 a year. I, I don't see that right now, just because I'm starting kind of a third of the way into the year, but that's how much I am making. So I'm gonna go into my actual income now, which, okay, from my net, you take out um, taxes, then my retirement contribution. And for retirement, this is gonna be a bit of a spiel. I'm also not a financial expert. Um, everything that I learn is from online. I look at Fidelity. I look at a bunch of different websites. I look at the Money Guy Show. Check them out if you are not, if you are not aware of them yet, please check them out. They are such a great resource, honestly. Check them out. Um, where was I going? Oh, my retirement, right. So I have a company match and I take the percentage that to get the full match. And that for me is 7%. And I'm putting that 7% into a Roth 401k. And then my company match is gonna go into the traditional 401k. So that's great. So the paycheck that I see after taxes and retirement is let me write this down, $4,850. I think it's like 4,854. It's, it's not exactly this. There's like, I think it's like $54 or $57, but I don't wanna deal with the seven and the four. I don't wanna deal with ones as much uh, if I can. So, I'm just going to take that and put it into a buffer and basically pretend that does not exist to me. So this is what I am seeing from my full-time job. But please take note that I do not pay for insurance currently just because I'm on my parents' insurance. Shout out to them. Love them. Um, for me, June is a five-week month, meaning I will cash stuff my envelopes five different times. And I base that off of when do I need groceries? <laughs> I like to shop um, on the weekends and there are basically five weekends in June. So five weeks of cash stuffing for me. And to kind of save up for that fifth week um, for like everyday spending, I have an envelope called extra week. And I stuff 
$120 every into every quarter. So to kind of supplement and help out. So I have 120 from that. Let me write this a little bigger. And then I also have a high yield savings account and I'm going to withdraw $100 from it. I personally bank with SoFi, but please do your due diligence when choosing a high yield savings. This is just the one that worked out for me. If another bank works out for you, that's totally great, totally fine. But I personally bank with SoFi. There's 4.6 APY. There's other banks like CIT Bank. Um, Marcus has one. Ally is a popular one. Just please do your due diligence when looking up high yield savings account. But they are such a great tool because your money is building up some interest. That was math from when I tried to do this video earlier and I just, I couldn't do it. It was just not working out well for me. So this is my second time doing it. But I'm going to add everything up. 48.50 plus 120 plus 100 means I have $5,070 coming in for the month of June, which is huge to me. That is a lot of money. And this means that I can really put a lot of money towards my financial goals. My financial goals are to fully fund my emergency fund to $10,000, to put $500 into my Roth IRA, and to not have any credit card debt. Um, that's a pretty general one, but I break that down into saving up for these three things. My friend's wedding is happening at the end of the summer. I wanna fully save up for that. I'm gonna have a little bit of a travel along with it, um, a little bit of a vacation along with it. So saving up for those expenses and moving for whenever I decide to move. I've actually pushed that out. So I'm not moving um, anytime soon. So um, I'm gonna fill in my summary table so I'm not bouncing around at the end of the video. But now we get into digital. My rent is $1,680. That includes my actual rent, my utilities, parking, indoor car parking, and renter's insurance. So $1,680 for that. And I'm just gonna write it just a tad bigger. Um, I'm wanting to build a little bit of a buffer when it comes to my bills. I had a bit of a buffer before I was let go from my job and I used up that buffer and I really want to add that back in so that I have a little bit of peace of mind. I know I have my emergency fund, but I want to have a little bit of buffer in my bills. <laughs> just a little bit, just to give me um, kind of, yeah, just more buffer. And I'm building a buffer by doubling the amounts for electric, internet, and phone. So for electric, every month it's around $50. I'm going to double it to $100. So $100 is going in there. For internet, the monthly payment is $38 or $39. I round up to $40. Doubling it is $80. My phone, I pay my parents $55 a month. Doubling is $1. 10. So I'm going to, I should add these up as I go along. My car note, the minimum monthly payment is 301. I really want to get this car loan done. I don't want to deal with it anymore. I'm projecting to complete it by the end of next year, which is great because it was like a seven month lease, seven month, um, period, but I'm paying it off in three, which is great. I'm very proud of myself for doing that. But the minimum is 301. I really want to get this done and just out of my hair. So I'm putting 525, so a really big chunk into my car loan for June. And then my student loans is 278 minimum. And I'm going to round up to 280. So That is 2,775. 
I'll take that, subtract it from the 50, 70, so my income, and I am left with 2,295 for my other categories. I'm gonna fill in the digital amount. Okay, and bounce right back. So daily cash. Groceries for me, let me move this down because I have a sticky note cheat sheet up here. Whoa. Um, basically, for, let's say like for groceries, I want to put $40 a week. I spend about $40 a week for groceries. Um, and 40 times 5 is 200. So, groceries for June will be $200. I do shop at Aldi and I also meal prep. And whenever I go home, my parents give me a ton of leftovers. So that's why it's only $40. Gas is $25 a week. Eating out is $30 a week, so that's $150. And then spending is $25 a week at $125. $200, $125, $150, $200, $125, $200, $150, $200, $150, $200, $150, $200, $150, $200, $150, $200, $150, $200, $150, $200, $150, $200, $150, $200, $150, $200, $150, $200, $150, $200, $150, $200, $
I started up a brokerage account. I'm super excited and I want to contribute some money into it, you know, to save up for any future expenses, you know? So my gym, I used to go rock climbing a lot. Right now I'm in my running era. So $15 uh, a week, so 75. And I'm kind of just using this envelope as like a motivator. Um, so yeah, cause money really, I'm gonna be honest, is like the only thing that motivates me right now. So 75 for there. And I could use it for like, um, if I want to sign up for any races, any 5Ks, <laughs> I'll use this money for that. Or if I wanna use it for any like, any fitness purchases. I am thinking of getting AirPods just because it's safer than over the head headphones. Um, so I'm thinking of doing that, um, but I'm playing a game with myself. Um, yada, 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 <laughs> 75 in a gym. Memberships, um, it's kind of like a head. I, it's only like $20 a month and it's a head. So I'll put $10 and I do have to deal with ones, but it had to be done. It had to be done. I don't want to get further ahead. So $10. My Roth IRA. I want to contribute to my future while I'm still paying off car loans. So I'm going to put $20 a week into it. So 100 And then my brokerage. I want to put $10 a week into it. So that is 50 I don't like how the hundreds look at all. I'm okay with that. <laughs> so 75 plus 10 plus 100 plus 50, 235 into ooh, monthly expenses. Which is kind of, if I'm gonna be honest, my Roth IRA and brokerage needs to go into the savings, but this budget sheet is already, it's already been created. I'll, I'll change it for the next quarter, but we'll have to deal with it for now. You know what, I'm gonna make a note, 150, right there. Okay, with my sinking funds, um, if we work with the leftover of 1,335, we can do quite a bit into my sinking funds, but I do know that I want to put more into my grouping binder. So let's go through. Clothes, I don't want to put anything into. It has 100. Bulk food has 150 in there, so I don't want to do anything there. Apartment, mm, I do want to purchase something, so. Um, hobbies, not going to do anything there. Mel's Paper Makes is my Etsy shop, and I haven't checked how much... Uh, how much money Etsy is paying me. Whatever Etsy is paying me, I'll just put it straight into here, but I don't know it right now, so nothing is gonna go in there. So we can go through. Family, I'm gonna do $10 a week, so that's 50. Christmas, to meet my goal, I need to put 75. My goal is 700. Um, apartment, I wanna get some, some chairs. I wanna get a lawn chair. Um, so that is 25 because I'm going to spend from it. So I want to put some more money into it as well. Gifts. My brother's birthday is happening this month. 50 into here. Dates. 50 into here. Spending. 50. Oh my goodness. I should add these up. Toiletries. 50. House. Household. 25 and race tickets this is my savings challenge for motorsports tickets that's 25 i don't want to go too crazy so if we add everything up 50 75 25 54 times and then 25 two times 400 dollars is going into my sinking funds very fun, very exciting. I hope you all had a great day. I'm so sorry I didn't ask you earlier.
Ooh, okay. Yeah, I hope y'all had a great day. And a great week. I hope your week is going well. Okay, leftover, we have 735. Um, the total should be 735 because I don't want anything left over. Sinking funds was 400, if my memory serves me. And then grouping is 375. Okay, so moving, I think I'm like $60 away. Yeah, $60 away from having that envelope fully funded. Sadly, I can't, it's not easily divisible by five. So more ones that I'll have to deal with. For my car, I contribute to my car maintenance registration and, um, what's it called? Or just uh, insurance, my goodness. Um, my insurance is 100. I want to do 25 into my registration, and then I want to put 100 into my car maintenance. If you add everything up, that is 225. So 225 for car. And then for travel, I want to put 200. And then... For my friend's wedding, I want to do 150, but I also want to put the hundred dollars from my high yield interest. So I'll cash stuff that in a bit. But just to make sure, 225, 150, 100, 260 gives me 735. So that is great. Now I can move on to my summary table, and I want to see from a quick glance, where my money is going. So let's move this out of the way. Okay, with my digital, my bills, 2775 divided by 5070. Um, and that leaves me with 54.7. I'm rounding the third, or I'm rounding the decimal point because I want to just have like a better idea. I want to do it to the 10th and I'm going to be expecting an error. So when I add everything up, my percentages might not add up to a hundred and that's totally okay because I was rounding this placeholder or this, um, I'm rounding to the 10th. So there is that. Okay. For daily cash, 600 um, is 11.8%. For long-term savings, that is 6.4. Uh, 235, 4.6. And the reason why I put 150 on the side is because I want to see how much more I'm putting into retirement. I'm putting 150 into my Roth and my brokerage. And that is, well, 3%. So of the 4.6, 3% is going to retirement. So that's really nice to see. Um, of my sinking funds, that is 7.9% of my income. And then my short-term savings or my long-term sinking funds that is 14.5%. And if I add everything up, remember, it might not equal 100 because I was rounding a lot. Um, we have 99.9. And I'm totally okay with having that. Um, so this is what my summary table looks like. And as you can see, we have more than half of my paycheck going towards my bills and my debt. And I'm okay with it being over half because I'm really working on paying my car loan. Um, I'm saving 6.4. 3% is going into retirement. I'm spending about 12%. And yeah, that is the breakdown of my income income for June. So that's really exciting to see. 
I will now cash stuff the $100 into the wedding envelope. Okay, here she is, my grouping binder. I'll flip towards my friend's wedding envelope. And I know I need to look at the budget again because there's a bit of miscommunication. There's just error. And for housing, it actually is $200 for my portion. So this isn't fully funded. Fully funded was 100, but it needs to be 200 now. So I'm putting this $100 placeholder in here to represent that. And I will fix this. Um, and I will update the actual goal amounts for my friend's wedding so that I know how much I need to save. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you all have a great day. I will see you in my next video. If you want to see the cash stuffings, like the money going into the envelopes, check out my next videos and I will see you later. Bye.